He just hit home run number 47 on the season. And that is a big number for our next guest, Carlos Pena. Carlos, your career high for homers in a single season, 46 set back in 2007. When you're on a power surge like this, what are your teammates telling you? Well, they look at you like you're from another planet. And, and I really enjoyed that feeling. I mean, they would look at me like, where'd this power come from? It's like, well, man, you're gonna have strong wrists and good timing. I gotta go back to timing as well. But look, it, it really feels like you're hitting a home run every single day. Um, and every single time you go up to the plate, you think you're able to leave the yard. It's a great feeling, and that's what I missed the most uh, from my playing career. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Washington Nationals. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. So the and Seattle Mariners have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And today on the hill, Mackenzie Gore. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home Adam ballpark, Bird. in front of their the fans, in front of the city. Marco. And you know this guy no Marco. different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Marco Mendoza in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bader should have it. And he makes the catch. Two down. Batting four. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoffman. And now Marco Mendoza. Over one so far. Marco Mendoza. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And Reese Hoskins with a chance to make an impact with two away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Back there. Out of here. He'll touch them all. His 22nd homer of the year, it's 4 nothing. Handled a pretty good changeup down in the zone right there. To me, that says he was looking down, and that's why he was able to stay on it so well, not get out in front, and hit that ball a long way. Up now for Washington, Brady House. Oh, for six in the series so far. Laid off man on. It's time to play a little small ball. Get some base runners. Try to dig yourself out of the hole. On the ground, two ball. One at second. Back to first, double play. 3-6-3, three, three, nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. So the Nats lineup turns over, and now Bader up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Out to short, Mendoza. And that is the inning. Nothing doing for Washington. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score.
Man at first, Joey Manessis right will hit next. Joey. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Manessis. And nobody away. Double play ball to second, and that chance handled. There's one. How about that double play? I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feet. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Marco Mendoza. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball one. Hernandez, a 6'4 righty, 245 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Now before the 1-1, one, one, time is called. Hey, let her rip one time. Right-hander kicks deals. That one hammered center field. Bader ranging back. And that one is gone. A soaring shot to center. And they add a run. It's 5-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around. Here's the left fielder, Alex Call, one for two. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Yet he beats Why did my guy stop saved. running? What the fuck is that? Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Up next for Seattle. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He's already homered in this game. Two on, two outs. Got it by him for the K. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. One for three. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground left side. Six. The flip. Mendoza. Toss the second. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Hey, they played the matchup right there. Worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball double play. And that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. Next to hit for the Nats. Brady House taken high in the draft he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform but at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level on the ground to the left Mendoza sends it across the first finally gets the first out here on the grounder and welcome back we're in extras here and now for Seattle Marco Mendoza and the right hater back to work this one popped up. Apostle makes the grab one away. He let them score all those runs at the end right there. Zach Thompson.
player receives advice about the refining of his game. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Seattle Mariners. Alongside Chris Singleton. Now the third baseman, Luis Guillorme. The wind of the pitch. Out to short, Mendoza. Slings to first. One out in the top of the first. Batting second, the shortstop, David Fletcher. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Right now the leading RBI man in the American League. Oh, hey. He's been huge this season. Checks over to first, back safely. And ball wow. one. Hey, by the way, Chris. Yes, John. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Smash to the left side. They get the force. That ends the frame. So now it's the four hole hitter, Marco Mendoza. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw in, and that's a two out double. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And the batter now, now batter. is Reese Hoskins. The first baseman. Struck out swinging Reese. his first time. Hoskins. At the belt and fires. Liner, base hit. Mendoza coming home. Ward throws to second. He pulls into second as a run scores. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. There's a swing and a drive. Trout raging back towards the wall. Grabs it right up against the wall. Mariners leave one. They're down five. Now it's the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. Fought off foul. Anderson stands at first with one out. Going two now. Yeah, that's too high. That's up, that's Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. That one is absolutely belted. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Lead runner holds it third, so two runners in scoring position. And just one out. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Number 17, Reese Hoskins. 2-2. Two -two. 
right through there. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Alex Verdugo. One thing they need to pitch, I mean, pitch, fix, is you see how the pitcher throws one pitch, but he's thrown four pitches this season. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the third out. Mariners leave a couple, not what they were looking for. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. On the ground, out to short. Out number three. They put two on. Here's David Fletcher. The one, two. One, one, Bounced one. out to short. Mendoza sends it to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Back in Seattle, and the batter will be the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. And the pitch. Now one miss. Herget goes six feet, three inches, 31 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2015. One and two now. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Hey, your pitch. The one two. Yeah, the one two, two, two misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You could tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And the right-hander deals. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a bouncer. To first. One up, one down. 14-6, the final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Just about set to go, showing the slab in today's game. Robbie Ray. Batting four. His career ERA has been five. under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Marco Mendoza, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Foul ball there. <laughs> The 0-2. One and two. And that's just foul. foul. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. And that one ripped into right, and it goes just foul. Anderson off of first with two away. Two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And now it's filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball. Back at T-Mobile Park. Top half of the third inning. Here's David Fletcher. On the ground. Mendoza. Fires over to first. And a quick out number one. 
So one out, no nobody out. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Mendoza. Singy Reed Detmers, 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft. You're talking about a guy who is a really good player at Louisville, and in his rookie year, he authored a no-hitter. And that's in there for strike one. Yeah, and in that rookie year with the nasty curveball, struck out 122 in 129 innings pitch. That's almost a strikeout per inning. An Illinois kid, but he grew up a Cardinals fan. When he was 11, the Cardinals won the 2011 World Series, and that's when he became a diehard Redbirds fan. Makes the grab. Come on, guys. And now the lefty. Ground ball to the right side. Fires to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning, and stepping in for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Mariners putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. And a pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance. And up next for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. In the air to left center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back. We go to the ninth, and here is Brandon Drury. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Safe at second with nobody out, and that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Two hits for him in this one. So in now for the Angels, Nate Eaton. He's already homered here in this one. Yo one. On the ground left side, six. Four. Three, but he beats it. Good hustle, and the inning continues. And now the shortstop, David Fletcher. He's already homered in this game. Kicks and fires. Swing and a slow roller. Arroyo. The throw to first. Fletcher retired. Third out. 4-3, our final score.
just about set to go now. And on the hill, Isaiah Campbell. Lots of punch outs. A real strikeout Orlando. artist singing. Martinez. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Hard hit left side. Fires over to Hoskins. That's out number three. But two runs for him, and they jump. Stepping in, Marco Mendoza. Two for nine so far in the series. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The next offering misses. Two and oh. Good hitters count the 2-0. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Hey, come on now. One time, right here. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That's what the fans came to see, his 51st home run of the year. It's 3-2. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. And now for no Seattle, pattern, Marco six. Mendoza. He had a big three-run homer in his first trip. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Hey, come on now, one time, right here. Need you right here, kid. Fly ball down the line. Martinez hauls it in, and there's two away. Man at first with one gone. Nate Eaton, the next to hit for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, they didn't get much of that one, but it's... And welcome back. Now it's the power-speed combo. Marco Mendoza. Liner to second and picked on the hop. On to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Here's David Fletcher. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Here comes the throw. And he'll make it around to third on the throwing error. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. One for three. One, Ground one, ball one. up the middle. Over to first. That takes care of Rendon. Mike Antico digs in now. And he deals. On the ground, right side. Beats the second, out there. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit. And stepping in for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza. First offering, misses the mark. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And that one is lifted in the air. Trout sizing it up. Pulls it in on the run. Two away down. Runner on at first with one gone. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. Two, on the ground right side. Four, six, three double play. And the inning is over. Back at T-Mobile Park, new inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Mike Trout.
Thompson back to work. One, Bounce to the left one. side. Mendoza throws to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Base is empty with two away. And now, Marco Mendoza. And the first oh, pitch misses for ball one. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Next offering is foul back. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Oh, he throws it away. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. The center fielder. Mendoza, the runner at first with two gone. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Nah, what he wanted to do there, Boo. He keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Runner takes off on the ground to third. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. And the Angels come in here and finish off. Marco Mendoza leading the American League and homers coming into this one having a monster season and first offering is fouled off it's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box you really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn too quickly hard grounder into the outfield for a knock Here's Rodriguez trying to score. He scores on the board first. It's one zip. In there. He's safe. Big RBI for him right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Alex Verdugo. And Luke, I'd say he's due. So RBI Verdugo. spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And they're all loaded up. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Hey, no one better. Let's go, kid. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball popped up. And there are two down. Tries to get back and see. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Now it's Austin Meadows. The kick, the 3 2. Back to right. Naquin drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So they. So up next, Marco Mendoza. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Mendoza. And a foul ball. Mendoza, in his third season, only 20 years old. And he's won a silver slugger in the American League. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. Marco now Mendoza batting. up Short next shot. for the Mariners. Marco. One for two. He had an Mendoza. RBI base hit back in the first. 
Off the mark there. Ball one. Anderson, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And now two and nothing. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Righty delivers. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Around second is Anderson. And that's a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone. And then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. One away, runners at second and third. Alex Verdugo up next for the Mariners. He's 0 for 1. The 0 2. That's out to center field. Bichette sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Come on, big guy, pitch, huh? So now one and two to Reese. Hit connect on the curveball, struck him out. Now Matt Chapman at the plate, one for two. One down, base is empty. Base hit, left center field. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He somehow got to that. Out. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Hit on the ground might be two. One at second. And that's two. One hit, one left. 7 8 9 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the Blue Jays 5. So one out with two aboard. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's already homered here in this one. On the ground, a short could be two. To second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they're able to work. Tyler Naquin to the plate. 2-2 two, two now. Popped up. Nice grab on the run. One away. Back in Seattle, stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Marco Mendoza. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Bo Bichette gets a chance to hit. The 0-1. Up the middle. Tosses to first. Yep, and Bichette is retired. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and... John Chump.
Here's some real power at the plate. Marco Mendoza. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. Gone. A towering shot to right. His 52nd home run of the season. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Top of the second, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. The first baseman. Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero, Guerrero Jr. He's Jr. made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. One, Exit velocity one. is charged and very fun to watch. More plate discipline than dad. Fires over to Hoskins. And Guerrero is set down. Batting fit. The right fielder, Tyler Naquin. One out, base is empty. Now it's the veteran outfielder, hey, Tyler Naquin. Here. 3 2 now. And he grounds one back up the middle. Fires over to Hoskins, and that's an out. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the map. Now back one gone, runner at first. Jairo Munoz next Munoz. up for the Blue Jays. 0 for 1 so far. Two, two, Roll to two. short, could be two. To second, there's oh. one. Over to first, two, safe. Two. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong. The Marco Mendoza getting ready to hit Marco. the solo homer Mendoza. his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Mendoza, a former All-Star, hitting third in the lineup. And he's been quite a threat lately with six homers in his last. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it is gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. First and second, two down. Bellinger up to hit. Out to short, Mendoza. Slings it across. And that is that. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mariners three and the Jays nothing. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And that one fouled off. Lighter, a six-foot righty, 210 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. The old one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. And two away now. Well, big power guy right there. And generally back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Ben and Tandy up here. Nobody. And a ball and two strikes. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. Good job of just oh, putting the Blue ball Jays. in play with two strikes. So two on with two away. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One for three. Here comes a pitch. 
popped up. Mendoza under it. And that'll do it. Blue Jays leave a pair. Two on, one out. And next for Toronto, Cody Bellinger. One, two now. That one down the line. Throws to second for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Mariners three and the Jays nothing. Now it's the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. Struck out on just three pitches last time. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. A towering home run. That's his third home run of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 4-0. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. On the corner of Dave Niehaus Way and Edgar Martinez Drive, welcome to T-Mobile Park. We've got open-air baseball for you on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch now, coming your way next. 2025. Seattle. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The second baseman. Gyro. Mundo. Digging in. Batting Marco third. Mendoza. Coming off a three-homer game last night. Mendoza. So we'll see how he follows that one up. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning... They're definitely looking to do some more damage. And first offering is fouled off. Singy Alec Benoa's turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big league all-star. So developed pretty quickly and a front-end rotation guy for the Toronto Blue Jays. Verdugo leads off second with nobody out. That's oh. off the mark. It's a ball and two strikes. Need you right here, one time. Out towards left center. Benintendi tracks it down for the out. Batting four. So first and second with one man gone. Cole Bichette up to the dish. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Grounder might be two. Mendoza over to second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. 3-4-5 due up for the home team. 
And now for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. This guy with light tower power. First pitch, just misses. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And the 1 0. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. He's been swinging it really well. They just kept it simple. The played Pepper fielder. with the middle of the Julio. infield and took it back where it Rodriguez. came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. First and second, no outs. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Bounce to the right. Sneaks through, base hit. Run comes in from second, and a 2-1 ball game now. Down in the count, battling to stay alive, and just a nice job to put it in play. Just find a hole, right? That's the name of the game as a hitter, and obviously there are better ways to do it than a scribble through the infield, but sometimes you get lucky just putting it in play. So two down, and up next for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. One for two. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And a pitch. That one outside, two balls, no strikes. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that ends the inning. And now, Marco Mendoza, one for three. Misses off the plate. Ball one. And that's outside. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. And fouled off. And he hits a ground ball right side, gathers, and throws to first. Play made that end. Runner at first with two away. So up next for Toronto, Kevin Kiermeyer. Now the 0-1. Mendoza. Whips it across, and that will end the inning. That's it. Tyler Naquin to the plate. <laughs> of course, the entire that game. one the other way makes the catch inning over. A rally in the top of the ninth, and we've got a whole new ball game. Eight yeah, nine one two rally. up in the bottom of inning number. First and second, one out. Here's Kiermaier now. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Tapped softly on the ground. Acrobatic throw for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. And the batter will be the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. And there's a ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The tying run at the plate. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Tying run at the plate. And yeah, that's a little bit high. 
Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Round ball left side. Fires over to Guerrero. Now only one out remaining. Well, so there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job. How do they just score all those runs right there? Our pitchers suck. Yeah, look at this. We have no good relief pitchers or closing pitchers. I wonder we don't fucking win games. Here's Yairo Munoz, one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. Out to short, Mendoza. In plenty of time to first, two gone now. Good slider inside right there, batter. Two outs, runner at first. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Four for 13 in the series, entering this one. And he grounds one to the right side. Slings to first, and Guerrero is set. Now, here is Marco Mendoza with six hits in the series coming into this one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. One runs in, Springer fires it to the plate. The run comes in from second, it's 2 nothing, And they tag him out. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Another solid power season. Out to short. Mendoza. Whips it to first on the run. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now the left fielder, Nick Banks. Out to short. Mendoza. Zips it to first. Two down. Well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's seven, hand. Seven. The way it comes the out of his hand Mark as an seven. infielder. And now the big go. time go. power go. threat, Marco That's Mendoza. Barrios back Mendoza. to work. That's inside. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one ripped left field back go, go, there. Go, 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 that go. one hops against the fence. Mendoza into second, and he's got a double. Everything came together for him. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Here's Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Verdugo. This one popped up right side. Merrifield gets under it and makes the grab. And there's one down. The first baseman, number 17. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Check on the runner. Come on, big guy. On the ground to short. Whips it to first. Oh. That's it out. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Here is Austin Meadows. And he's already singled in this game. Hot shot to third. Chapman over to first in time. Inning over. And it's second with one away. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Marco Mendoza. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. 
He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Anderson over at second, one down. That misses the zone, and a count one and two. And it's second. Ripped into right center. Should be extra bases. The run comes in from second. Tie ball game. 4-4. Four, four. Bro cut off to third. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing. Nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit. Hey, come on now. And the 0-1. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza. He's got a single, a double, and a triple in this game. A home run gets him the cycle. Foul ball. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a pitch. And one and two. O2 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Right-handed reliever. And now two and two. Come on, let it fly right here. Let it fly. Two-two on the way. What a stop. Over to first. Got him. Nice play. And that may have saved a run. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Anderson runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky. But they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Swing it a foul straight back. Hey, your turn. Drive me right here. Hard hit to third. God damn. Zips it across, and they're down to their last out. I almost had the cycle. Our final oh, one is down to do. First one. Ready to stand up if you ever had your back. Thank you.